everybody. Today I wanted to do a video about GI stasis and how I treat it when my rabbits have it. So Benny has had GI stasis about four or five times in the last year. Unfortunately, he's very sensitive and prone to stasis. So because of this, I've become pretty good at catching it early and I've developed a way to treat him pretty successfully. To be clear, this is a treatment that works for Benny and won't necessarily be best for everyone. I am not a professional, and if you notice any signs of GI stasis, please take your bunny to a rabbit-savvy vet as soon as possible. GI stasis can become very deadly very fast. The first and most obvious sign I look for is how much Benny's pooping. It's easier to spot this with a single bunny, but I know that Benny likes to poop on the floor and, and Bailey very rarely goes outside the litter box, so I use the poop on the cage bottom as a guide for Benny. Once I sense there might be a problem and throughout treatment, I sweep up the cage bottom several times a day to see how much he's pooping. If you do have a single bunny, I recommend spot cleaning the litter box at least the morning and night, which is what I did with Benny before he was bonded. Once I'm fairly certain he's having a problem, I start administering cisapride and meloxicam. This is something I do only because my vet and I have discussed it and she's given me the proper doses. Again, please see your vet before you give your rabbit any medication. I always have these meds on hand since Benny is so sensitive. I give him cisapride three times a day and meloxicam twice a day. Cisapride is a motility drug that helps keep the GI tract moving and meloxicam helps with discomfort. Luckily for me, Benny really enjoys getting his medicine. Most bunnies also stop eating when they have stasis, but as sick as Benny has been, he's never lost his appetite. However, I do still give him critical care. If your rabbit isn't eating, it's recommended to give critical care every three to four hours. Since Benny eats and the critical care is just an extra boost, I only give it twice a day in the morning and at night. Critical care is high in fiber and fluids, which helps get things moving. I usually make two doses at night and cover one in the fridge to make my morning a little bit easier. A really important thing to do with a sick bunny is to keep them moving. When rabbits are sick, they like to hunker down in one spot, and that's not good. So I make sure Benny has plenty of time to, to run around. If I notice he's laying around a lot, I go in and play with him and try to get him moving as much as possible. So if after a couple days he isn't improving or is improving slower than I would like him to, I do take him to the vet. At the office, they check to see how hard his stomach is and they might up his meds if he needs it. They also often administer subcutaneous fluid. This is where they use an IV to inject fluid under the skin to hydrate the bunny. This usually does the trick for him and it really jump starts recovery. I just keep doing my routine and keep a close eye on him. In terms of diet, I don't change much, except that I do encourage more hay by mixing in sweeter varieties to entice him, and I give him extra veggies. Fiber is the key with stasis. It isn't recommended to drastically change diet with a sick rabbit, as it can stress them out. In my experience, it usually takes Benny seven to 10 days to bounce back, and this routine seems to work for him. Like I said, these are just suggestions and I'm not a professional. This is just what works for me and my rabbit. Please seek help from a rabbit savvy vet if your rabbit is going through any kind of illness. I hope some of these tips helped and I will see you next time. Bye.